At the start of the 20th century, 6.5% of Iraqis were Christians. Now they're less than 1%. The arrival of ISIS caused the final exodus. In 2003, there were 1.4 million Christians in the country. Now there are an estimated 250,000. They don't return out of fear, but also because of a lack of economic stability. Institutions from many countries are working to rebuild civil society in Iraq and to create new employment opportunities. One of them is called Hungry Helps. It's part of the Hungarian government and includes a department dedicated to helping persecuted Christians. First, our focus is uh, to provide uh, aid for reconstruction on the Nineveh Plains in order to enable people to return to their homelands. Tristan Azbej traveled to Kurdistan to see for himself the situation of the Christians they were helping. He highlights that the violence perpetrated by ISIS affected every community, not only Christians, but Muslims and Yazidis as well. Sometimes they were offered the option to either convert or flee their uh, ancient uh, homelands, but some other cases, and this is relatively underdocumented, they were murdered on the mass uh, scale, almost to the level of genocidal uh, murder. It's only a matter of uh, definition. Tristan Azbej expects to travel to Iraq to attend the Pope's Mass in Erbil. They have provided medication, water and education to refugees in that city. As it is planned at the moment, the Holy Father will visit several sites that had been uh, reconstructed uh, using donation from the Hungry Helps uh, program, for example in Karakos and also in Erbil and, and Mosul. Countries like Poland, Austria and the United States also have programs that provide direct aid to Christian communities from Iraq. But Hungary is undoubtedly one of those that has contributed most directly, about $62.5 million.